Hi everybody, tonight's video will be a Jojo Juju Mitten. First we will cast on with waist yarn, one in the front, one in the back for the first row. When we will be done with the first row, we will put the yarn in the yarn feeder, close it and then crank till we get at least five rows of waist yarn. When we reach that, we put the waist yarn in the middle, put the yarn, project yarn in the yarn feeder and then we crank. There. So I put it a little bit faster because we will need a lot of row. Actually, we will need 53 rows. Put that in your notebook. 53 rows of project yarn. And then you come back with waist yarn till you ran out of yarn. I always use like a five or six rows. So remove it from the machine. And you could notice that the yarn that I use is uh, not a perfect yarn. It's only for doing sample. And this video, it's from a sample. Usually I don't film myself making sample so now I will show you how to do flat panel so be careful I count all my stitches by counting the little needle I count and count and recount I know because I need 11 so we'll go there till I get 11 very important to have one little bump red bump to be covered. I don't know if you see it, but I put the yarn like in between those two, like right there, and you will see that it will slip and it, it will make the first stitch on the side. See? You lop, and this needle will grab it. So I will go store right now to make it easy for people who doesn't get the flat panel yet. Just a little push down and I will go pass through that last stitch, the, the black one. See the yarn, but I don't get the machine to uh, grab, to grab, <laughs> to grab it with the, with the, oh no, no, with the stitches, with the needle, oh no, no, better go back to, to bed. So I always like go over the last stitch there <laughs> sounds better sorry for that so you see that one i will go and put my yarn go down and then i come back so i will pass through the last stitch there but i don't get the machine to grab the yarn for that one so over and come back over and come back over and come back so that's the flat panel technique so i did 11 stitches wide so this will make the thumbs i will put that a little bit faster and when i recorded i didn't know how many rows so i <laughs> I will uh, show you how I did the safety line to remove some uh, some uh, rows that I did too much for that part. So it's okay. You will see how I did my sample usually. So that yarn is not the best yarn. There's a different thickness in it. So that's why I don't use it to make video usually. But it's good to make like samples to try a, a new project or new uh, pattern because the machine doesn't drop any stitch but the knitting is not that good. So you will see it during the video. So I continue like that. So you could see that I always go over the big. See the knitting is not good but no drop stitch. So I will measure it with my thumbs and I will install a safety line so the safety line would be there so I will grab one stitch and I keep on the same line of uh, the row there I grab one stitch very important 
there I stay on the same row there I changed I changed my machine side so maybe be better to see but I will try to do another one of on flat panel because I think there's never enough different angle could help somebody sometimes you don't see something on one angle and suddenly you change the angle and it's wow well, it's magic you understand it so I will do another flat panel soon so if you don't get it right now uh, don't uh, get uh, sad on it you will learn someday so I remove it and then I just remove some rows by pulling on the yarn so I decide to do 28 rows so that's why you see a big 28 so put that on your notebook so you already have two numbers you have 11 wide and 28 height so now it's time to grab all the stitches with my wool needle make sure I grab those two though. and remember it was a sample usually I don't uh, film it and film myself when I do a sample but I did for this one it was 4 a.m. <laughs> I was so tired so I did it and I decided it's gonna be the good one so now I editing it and I will release it as soon as I can for you guys so that way if you only have one machine of 40 or 40 4, 46 or 48 you will be able to make some mittens for a Christmas gift this Christmas so time to remove the lifeline there and I will close it now I'm, uh, I'm gonna use the mattress stitch so I put my number on my notebook so see I, I do that too though. <laughs> So you have to do like me, put that in your notebook and uh, just draw a little picture of your pattern to help you re remind what was that number. So for the mattress stitch, you go on one side with your one needle and you will pick two stitch from the same column till you get to the other end. You go one side and grab to the second side oh, two stitch don't worry you will see it better here <laughs> at that time I was very tired so maybe I'm not in the, the right angle for the but I think you will understand it so grab two one side grab two on the other side and you stay on the same column so that way your thumbs will not be uh, twisted so you will do that two times because you need two thumbs don't forget that because <laughs> you have two ends there mm. There, almost at the end. Make sure you grab all the stitches. Whoops. I will need to hide some uh, tail because it's start bothering me. Too many pieces of yarn in my way. There. So it will be time to pull on my work to do the invincible, invincible sewing. I attach those two together and I will put that on the other side like right now it's like when you do a hat see got a long tube and I will close it by pulling on those string I will cut this one it's not good put everything inside oops a little mix up doesn't matter I will just attach it and we won't see it anyways I will put that inside the thumbs and voila will be <laughs> looking good at the end <laughs> so put that there oh 
I lost one stitch I think yeah I lost one stitch there I will fix that doesn't matter it's a sample <laughs> I'm allowed to do some uh, little mistake on the go that's the way we learn it's not a mistake but I will fix it so I will do and go around like this and close it so time to do with the mitten now as you could see the the knitting machine doesn't like that yarn to be like a nice work but it won't skip anyway so it's good so it's time to close our tube now so with a hook number four or five you could do that if you're not comfortable with hook i will leave you a um, a link in the video description to do it with the wool needle so it would help you till you get the use of the crochet better so that way it won't stop you from making nice and beautiful project you will have an, a, a, a little uh, needle to do that with you so almost finished make sure you grab all the stitches to prevent drop stitch there make sure you grab all of it there another one there and another one here and then I will pull my my tail of yarn and will attach and the row is done so time to remove the waist yarn see that's why I use a uh, waist yarn different color it's easy to grab the stitches and at the end it's easy to remove there is always one side that's worse than the other one the worst side to remove is always the one that you cast on by hand there so you put it straight make sure your t no work is not twisted and then you go on the other side and you will close it again not again but this side too there And I will put that a little bit faster after because I see you, you already seen it. There. So you, you grab one stitch in each side till you get to the other end of this row. almost there slow down a little bit grab all the stitches very important to prevent drop stitch almost at the end now there and another one here So that yarn is the yarn that I use for sample and the yellow is the one that I always use for waist yarn because it doesn't work on my machine if I go uh, more than 10 rows it start uh, drop or skip so I always use that yellow for the waist yarn and also that yarn split too so it's not the best yarn to use but for waist yarn it's good so if I have to put that in garbage I don't feel sad there voila it's done so I check everything no drop stitch that's good so time to sew it together now I put that side by side like this and make sure that my uh, colon is very straight so I will go from one side to the other side till I have enough to put my thumbs in it so I grab two stitch on each side put that a little bit faster and if you still here at 15 minutes can you put a happy face on your comment please 
a happy face, a smiley. And I'd be okay with that. I'd be happy to see that you reach 15 minutes of watching my video. Thank you so much for your support. So almost there, pull that, and then I will try it with my hand in it. I feel it's the right place to put it. I will secure it with one knot like this. And then I will come with my thumbs. Oh, I will close that first. So I close that and hide it between the two layers. There, that's good. Sorry, don't see correctly because I was not in the right angle for the camera. Sorry for that. So it's time to attach my little thumbs. So I grab one full stitch, just like I did on my other video. So I grab two on the mitten, one full stitch on the thumbs, and two on the mitten. There. So that pattern will get more option. Like if you do it with a 40 needle, you will have a smaller uh, mitten for sure. And if you do it with a 48, you will have a bigger mitten for sure. But at least you will have mittens. I will have soon uh, a video to show how to make smaller mitten on big machine. It's on my list, so don't worry. We'll be ready soon. So I, you see me come back on my uh, stitches. I start, I went back where I start and I will do the other side like this till I reach the end of it there and then I will secure it here make sure there's no hold in the mitten it's very important and then you still grab one side and the other side you continue with the mattress stitch almost finished woohoo I like it because it's not a long, long video. I cut it to get reach 20 minutes, I think. So I think people will like it. If you like it, just put like <laughs> in the comment. I always read all my comment in the, on, on YouTube, so it's fun. Give me some uh, energy to continue. So this part is done. Now I will go and close it and secure. So now I will just grab half of the stitch. I don't know if you could see it. I just grab half of V and I will go there like this all over the circle like this. There and pull on it. You could see the difference of uh, thickness. That's why I was having trouble with the, the knitting. So I wish you a very, very great Christmas and a happy new year. And see you next week for a new video. Ciao, ciao. And don't forget to subscribe and be nice for each other.